Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 best machine learning and deep learning projects to work on to get your first internship or first job. And that will cover every aspect of machine learning, whether it be a classification, whether it be a regression, whether it be a natural language processing, or whether it be a computer vision, or whether it be a unsupervised learning as aspects, okay? So we will cover each and every range, each in every range of projects so that so that anyone wants to go in any domain they can go okay so these are some ideas with the data sets links will be also provided in these pdfs also so you can go to that data set read the full problem i have indicated the small problem statement but you have to read the full problem see some code uh, in kaggle competitions and see the discussions and then try to model it by your own self okay so that will give you more insights about your this problem statements okay but before that i'm going to give you an exciting announcement that a full FSMLC course will be uploaded. I've been not uploading video for one week. The reason me I'm making a full 10 to 15 hours of course means around seven hours has been recorded and more hours will be recorded soon where I've covered in depth for absolutely free which will be uploaded is soon a new era. Okay okay so um, feature things you can see on uh, just sub subscribe this to get the notification okay so let's start so the first machine learning project that i that i think that would be in your toolkit if you're a beginner is diabetes prediction system the reason being it's a not yet kind of a very easy project it's a good challenging project to work on although anyone can use logistic regression and then you can uh, make this model but getting a good accuracy getting a best c index because i i have used c index as an evaluation making the whole website i've also worked work on diabetes prediction system where, where I have used CAD boost as my model okay so uh, there you can you can uh, make this project also this is very good project which indicates your skills into AI and healthcare and also our uh, machine learning means modeling and what I would suggest you to follow the full data science or machine learning workflow like for scope the problem make your good documented Jupyter notebook then go then go further into uh, data uh, exploratory data analysis then do some feature engineering and the feature engineering try to add some more features if you can using the using the containable features or add the interaction terms and then go further um, into uh, modeling or and then evaluation and then deployment and matrix okay and also deploy it and deploy it in Heroku so that anyone can simply click the click on the link and then go to your model and then check how it is working okay so deploy using Heroku Roku, uh, it will be best. Okay, this this is your first machine learning project, which indicates your both medical and AI skill. Okay, that you can work in, uh, that you can integrate AI and medical. Second project is also a medical project, which is heart failure prediction system. And this project is again a AI and medical project, where it indicates that you are capable of working in medical, and also it indicates that you have working experience in classification problem. Okay, and the data set link will be provided in the PDF. So you can go to this data set link the link of the PDF will be in description that much below Okay, so you have to predict whether the person died or not based on 13 to 14 features And you what you can do you can add some more features using interaction terms Okay, so this is again a very good project to work on to showcase your skills and a resume based project next project is machine learning project for uh, it is a regression project which is stock price predictor although it's very very non-linear and even i am not able to predict uh, accurate um, 90 percent even of stock price predictor but it is a time series project and it's a very very interesting project to work on the reason being it's uh, it indicates your skills in regression time series and business objective that you can work with these kind of projects and you what you have to do you have to predict the stock prices of any stocks that you like you can either predict for silver gold or maybe some uh, Tesla stock price predictor or Bitcoin price predictor you can make so anything and you can find the data set historical data around 10 10 years in the Yahoo Finance and that will be very very uh, good thing if you go to Yahoo Finance and make a stock price predictor with deployment following full data science workflow 
including EDA, then we have a modeling, a scoping, data modeling, etc. Okay, so be sure to do all those stuff, feature engineering, etc. Okay, after stock price predictor, you will, you have advanced house price predictor. The reason I'm saying this is a very good project in regression, it shows your skills in your regression analysis. It shows your skills in data visualization. It shows your skills in feature engineering, feature selection. Okay, so it is a full end-to-end -end data science project, which will give you an opportunity to showcase your skills in feature engineering, feature selection, and etc. Okay, so it's a very good opportunity to work on this project. And what you have to do, you are, you are given around 81 features and you have a large data set and then what you have to do you have to select the most important features and then to model it and regression is not easy okay it's a real state problem so it's not easy it's kind of a intermediate advanced level so i've already written it's advanced level so just if you're a beginner you can also work on this project take a to model it using a random forest extreme or extreme uh, boosting um, gradient boosting decision tree or you can use cat boost or you can use any state ensemble learning methods or you can use stacking cascading or you can use deep learning if you want but just one reminder that deep learning is not always best in every cases okay so be sure to have uh, take this in mind it's a real estate problem and can be done very well using the ensemble learning and uh, advanced house price predictor I means it's real estate okay so this is a classic machine learning project that will showcase your skills of regression and real estate okay so what we have seen so far we have talked about two medical projects which is diabetes prediction system and then we have talked about heart failure prediction system and then we have talked about a stock price predictor and then you have an advanced house price predictor okay and the data set link is again in the description and box below you can find the link uh, the PDF in the description and box below okay next thing is NLP project, natural language processing. Let's take an example that you have, you are going to become a machine learning engineer, or you want, or you want to um, apply for any machine learning job that requires NLP. Um, kind of a nlp experience so it will uh, you need nlp project for that so and in nlp it will ind indicate your skills that you have worked with the text data it's around 1.6 million si the size of the data is 1.6 million where you have a uh, uh, 8 lakh 60,000 uh, 8 lakh uh, data points for one um, for positive and 8 lakh for a negative okay so it's a very very large data set that will that will indicate that you have a working experience working with the textual data and that will also help you to showcase your skills in NLP natural language processing and also you can take your career in NLP engineer okay so it's very very good projects so like sentiment analysis and you can find the link of the of this data set here and then it's just what you have to do you have to predict the sentiments of the texts okay you have to predict the sentiments whether it is a negative or the positive sentence because it is widely used in Quora Quora uses it or various platforms to identify negative comments or let's 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 take an example that we have in a text like uh, this movie is good this is a positive and another another text that this this movie was almost good this is not a positive this is a negative so this is a trick okay so your model should perform well onto these types of sentences and it's very kind of a hard problem statement again to tackle error analysis also follow the full data science life cycle okay next project is fake news detection system says system so in this system it is again a send like sentiment analysis but it's quite different it's a real and fake data it's also a huge data set okay so you're given a text and to identify whether the news are fake or real okay so this is this this will show you that you have a working experience in textual data and you followed full data science with well documented code and you deployed it and step so deployment is very important over here okay so this is what you have to do and we have talked about again two classification in healthcare then we have talked about two regression in real estate and one in business 
Then third is then then we have talked about two NLP project which is sentiment analysis and fake news detection system to showcase your skills in machine learning and deep learning. And also you can do with LSTM recurrent neural networks. Okay, you can do fake news or sentiment analysis in RNN. And you can also use mach classical machine learning techniques like ensemble learning or you can use any other um, naive based algorithm or any algorithm to perform well on the textual data but i have seen that classic machine learning with a um, little bit different from deep learning so for uh, first to go with classical classic machine learning algorithms and then you can adopt uh, deep learning which is recurrent neural networks uh, algorithms architectures like lstm gru and other advanced algorithms okay then we have fake news again you can use rnn or class classical machine learning for this okay next is computer vision project let's take an example that your company is working on computer vision project so it requires you it will not require you that you're good at it will require you that you're good at computer vision so for that also i have bring up image recognition means a computer vision project that will showcase your skills in computer vision working with the images data and then working with libraries like tensorflow pytorch uh, fast AI okay so we have different different uh, libraries okay so that will indicate your skills working with that and also indicates that you that how much accuracy how you tackle the problem and how much accuracy you're getting how you prevent overfitting how you prevent underfitting how you tackle the problem what challenges you face okay so write that how how you uh, how you understand the bias and variance trade off and etc there are a lot more so that will indicate your skills you're given an image and it will classify that image is a cat or a dog this is also a huge data set of 851 mb and megabytes and here the data set link is here you can find the link in the description and box below in the pdf and drive okay so this is your computer vision project next is also computer vision project which is pneumonia classification using chest x-rays it is also class classification project it's also a relatively huge data set okay so this will this will showcase your skills working with the images or data and also wor working ai and healthcare okay so it's very very um, important to work on these kind of systems and you what you have to do you have to you are given an image a chest x-ray of a person and you have to identify whether that person chest x-ray is of pneumonia or a normal okay that's what I find and you can find the data set link here okay these are relatively advanced and you will find uh, tackle a lot of problems and you also have a learning opportunities here okay next project is computer vision project which is object detection using coco data set okay so th this is a object detection project using coco data set which you can find in a tensorflow data set library okay this will indicate your skills of object detection using a state of the art models okay so you are given an image you have to detect an object into that like maybe the chair pedestrian or maybe some maybe my goggles or like that so you can make it a real time or you can make it a video kind of object detection or you can make a simple image object detection system and the data set link is again in the tensorflow data set library which you can find directly okay and the last project of the of this is image segmentation using coco data set this this is again coco day day data set and this will you can use for object detection and also image segmentation image segmentation is an unsupervised learning project which you can use it okay you which which can indicate your skills working with unsupervised learning and also working with unstructured data which is images okay and also image segmentation is just segmenting your image in multiple parts okay so you can use coco data set and using advanced or image segmentation algorithms to segment your images okay so that's what we have done a lot and if you do these projects and if you showcase on your resume and github you will be relatively given a lot of values that you have work on natural language processing computer vision object detection object classification and then we have a ai and healthcare project regression project and real estate then we have business and a lot more and if you do these 10 projects this is just amazing and put on on your resume that we have made this and uh, maybe you can work with a team or you can uh, work individually working with these projects take a time to make a full deployment and soon this project will be up on my youtube channel but sticking i've already made that was taking time to narrate a video onto that 
okay so i'm just want to i've been just waiting for a time but i'm working on fsmlc which is a full stack machine learning course with some videos are already uploaded but i have made a full 10 to 15 hours of course to be uploaded directly so that in a one way and you can watch that video if you want um, again a great course co covered in depth of machine learning using uh, all the mathematics i have more broadly focused on ensemble learning uh, mode and also i focused on neural networks that okay so that's it for this video and if you have new projects idea you can put in your comment and in, um, in the comment box below i'll be very happy to give you suggestions under that if you want suggestion how you how, how i tackled these kind of problems i'll be very happy to make again one video on how i tackled the machine learning projects okay so that's for that's it for this video and i'll be catching up in the next video till then bye bye and be sure to subscribe this youtube channel